<coughs> so this here is the control panel of the Evo Leva. Of course, you got your on button. You can set what your on time is for the day, and then your off time in a 24-hour clock. And then you just pick. You can have a different one for each day. And then, of course, your current time. Now, if you want to get to the advanced menu, I find if you use a thumb, it seems to be better. So if you go uh, press and hold these two here for a few seconds, this brings you into your advanced menu. And they have this same panel for some other ones, right, if you have different groups. So you cycle through here. Fahrenheit, Celsius. This is going to be one of your PID settings. That's for the group, right? GP. And then the coffee boiler. You can change those around if you're feeling crazy. I haven't messed with any of that stuff yet. And then your steam boiler. Now the F dot numbers those all correlate with things in the manual you can check that out one of these is uh i think it's 04 i think that's if it's plumbed in or tank if it's on tank fed it's a zero and then you have to change that if you uh if you plumb it in 20 that one that was there before the 20 it was written as 20 that's you can set a timeout for your uh, fill on the tank with the water mains so if um, for whatever reason if the float doesn't doesn't shut it off, then it'll automatically shut off after 20 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever you decide. You're back here. Press that to turn it on. This is what you get. So every time one of your elements is energized, you'll see like this one here and this one here are energized right now. There's an outline around the icon. This one turned off. Now this is on. So if you check what your temperatures are, like that's my brew boiler, I have it set to 98, and it can go in half degree increments, which is really nice. Oh, I'll turn that back up, where was I? 98. And if you wanna go with um, your group, same deal, pick what you want. So I found this is a pretty good, this is a pretty good setting for me here. So if I have 98 in the boiler, and about 90, what did I have this set to? 93, it's about five degrees, anything from five to 10 degrees Celsius, you can kind of mess around and see where your best stable temperature profile is. So basically the way you can test that is you set your, your brew boiler to something that you think might work and you, you want to set your, well, actually the best thing probably to do is to set what your group temperature is, what you want it to actually extract at and then you'll change your brew boiler until it gives you an even profile, and that's gonna be your steady profile. And after that, you wouldn't touch your brew boiler if you wanted to do rising or declining temperature uh, profiles during the shot. So if you, like let's say 93 on my group is what I want, and 98 on my boiler, let's say that's a perfect even extraction temperature, so when you pull the shot, it stays right at 93 the whole shot, then if I wanted to have something maybe decline in temperature towards the end of the shot to get a little less temperature extraction towards the end, then what you can do is you can set this and turn this down to a few degrees. And then when you dump in that hot water from that boiler into the group, you might notice that, that the group temperature goes up to that initial 93 degrees, but the element won't come on to keep it at that, so it'll cool. It'll cool back down to that 93. And you, you can mess around with that kind of as much as you want if that's something that you're that you're interested in trying. Temperature-wise, it's kind of neat that you can do that. I don't know a whole lot of other machines other than the, the decent that can do that kind of thing. So that's pretty neat. If you press over here, you get the lights. You can turn these little brew lights that are over there. You can turn them on or off. And then you press and hold on this one for three seconds something like that to uh, shut it off. So um, I'll just move this camera back a bit. <clears throat>